Hello everyone, you're all very welcome to our LinkedIn Live demo with the Trellix Security Operations team here today. My name is Bernadette Maloney, the Security Operations Centre Manager here at Trellix and today we're going to be demoing a simple workflow using Helix and how it detects malware. So in our workflow that I have presented here, we're going to show you how a malicious attachment once opened, runs and executes a script in the background. We're then going to look at how Helix, in turn, detects this in our Threat Intel dashboard and how a SOC analyst would remediate this threat. I would like to welcome Neve. She is our senior tech lead here in the Security Operations Centre and she's going to lead us through this demo today. Thanks, Bert. So what we've done is we generated a fake invoice incorporating a base64 encoded script along with an executable file. Once this encoded script is executed, it will facilitate the injection of macros and additional payloads into the system, which are basically designed to exploit vulnerabilities and gain unauthorized access. So how we've done this is that we use the Metasploit framework and we've used a module called Kiwi. So this module is designed to collect passwords and gain privilege escalation and gain remote access to the user system once they've clicked on the phishing attachment. So for example, the email is sent to accounts payable and here is the document that we have with the fake invoice and the macros enabled. So once the user comes in here and opens the attachment, this will detect in Helix and generate alert into the threats dashboard. So I can move on to Helix and show you exactly how a SOC analyst would navigate this. So from the threats dashboard, we can see the critical alert and it's mapped to the MITRE framework. So it maps the MITRE tactics and techniques. So from here, we can see one of the techniques is command to control, which is the payload that we generated to gain privileged escalation. So from here, a SOC analyst will assign a case and then begin to drill down on the general overview. So down here, we can see the tools detected, what sources from our XDR platform, what alerts were correlated to this alert, what assets were found, who clicked on the email, their source IP, their host name, and then multiple artifacts which were detected, which would basically be any indicators of compromise. So for, for example, what malware strings, what hashes, who sent the email and external IP addresses. So from here, we can see the tools that were used. So this was detected with our email security, our network security and endpoint security. We can also drill down into what related alerts along with the events. So for example, we can see that there are alerts related to endpoint, Intel, what malware is used, suspicious PowerShells that we ran because we did base64 encoded. And we also have automated playbooks on the right. So with our automated playbooks, we can search users across our XDR platforms. We can run hashes in IVX and we can also create EDR investigations. So while this investigation is ongoing, an analyst would usually run one of these automations in the background while they continue their investigation. We then move on to the different sources. So with sources, we can see both internal and external. External, We can see who sent the email, their IP, and also who received the email and their IP address. So from here, we would start to do a little bit of OSINT on the external email sender and any information related to who clicked onto the attachment, did anyone else get the email? Did anyone else click on the attachment? There's any domains associated with the email, etc. So from here, we can also see the alerts. So this again is across all our different platforms and we can drill down of what was detected in the email. So for example, we can see that our email exchange, NX, Endpoint, Intel, pick this um, email up and we can drill down into Helix or move to our additional XDR product suites to get a bigger picture of what was detected. And then we also have our artifacts. So our artifacts are different um, from the alerts. So the artifacts are anything that was, any IOCs that were detected within the email. So from here, we can get a range of MD5, SHA-256 hashes. We can get threat names. Um, we can see that there was macros in this, in this email. We can see there was Trojans. We can see the PowerShell that we ran. And again, we also have the option to run the playbooks that we ran earlier and see that output, which I'll go through in a bit. So once our investigation is ongoing, we need to isolate the user. If they actually open the attachment, we need to make sure that there was no privilege escalation on their account. There was no lateral movement, that no one got into their account. 
So what we would normally do is we would disable the user across all of our platforms and get them off the network while a SOC analyst would continue to investigate. So coming back to automation, which we ran earlier, we would come in here to the automation playbooks um, suite under the response tab and we can basically see all our completed automation. So for example here, what we did was we ran the create the EDR investigation. So what this did would give you activity from start to finish. It will collect the user's IP, host name, and basically create an investigation in our EDR platform, which we can go into then. Um, we also have Intel. So for example, with this specific uh, phishing campaign that we used, we can see the associated threat actors. We can see that there are known threat group that were tracked by Trellix. It will pick up anything such as domains, hashes, and it will also give you links to sources of what this threat actor is trying to do. So we'd normally use this again as additional threat hunting to see if, you know, if there were compromised anywhere else, if they're trying to um, target additional users, um, it's all in the Intel dashboard. We also have our Mitra attack framework. So this also maps to tactics and techniques with Mitra. And again, a SOC analyst would come in here, do some OSINT, navigate around Helix, use our additional XDR platform, product suites, um, etc. So, right, throwing back to you, Verso. Thank you, Neve, for that excellent demo. I hope everyone who attended today found the information useful. And thank you all for joining. Until the next time, take care.